that what people see, you know, with us just beating on a piece of steel, does not begin to encompass what is required in terms of knowledge and experience to actually do so successfully. My name is Michael Bell. I'm a senior swordsmith uh, by profession, and this is my son Gabriel, who is also a professional swordsmith. We make top-of-the-line, hand-forged, hand-finished swords to the rest of the world. So our clientele is actually worldwide. Being born in San Francisco and my father owned a cutlery shop, I mean, I've just basically always been surrounded for, by knives and swords my entire life. And so I really grew up like in the shop, always making something, you know, and certainly watching my father and I think picking up a lot of things in, the, in that time period. Then I never really thought as a child that I would pursue it kind of as a profession or a career because I also saw all the struggles that went, you know, hand in hand with pursuing, you know, this art as a, as a real lifelong passion. So I didn't want that really for myself, I thought. But going into college, stuff, I also kind of realized I didn't want to be just in front of a computer all day. I really had to create something with my hands. And here I had this great opportunity, you know, to learn from my father and work closely with him in a hands-on craft that's really you know, almost the epitome as far as like the culmination of art and science together. My beginnings probably actually begin with the martial arts and uh, samurai movies at the old Toho Rio Theater in San Francisco in the 60s. I had been at the time a guitar builder working as a luthier and in 1970, I was introduced to my teacher, Nakajima Muniyoshi, who had come to the United States in 1963 uh, because he was a sword expert and one of the few people who not only knew how to forge a sword, but to polish the sword, to identify old swords, and to restore them, whatever needed. At the time, it was such an opportunity, even though I had not planned on a profession as a swordsmith, I fell in love with the sword itself, with the art that went with it, the tradition and culture that created it, which is beautiful and complex. Our clients run an incredible gamut of ethnicity, of uh, education, and they all have their individual reasons for buying it. Some of them uh, do it from a martial arts standpoint. But a larger people appreciate the art and the effort that went into it. And they collect them with the same fervor and interest that they might older swords. Because ours are individually crafted, they are very complex. That's something that didn't show up on, you know, in a short interview or film, is that every one of those blades is already composed of hundreds of parts. There are, fo are forge welded together and that structure is built into it and that's what makes them superior to a blade that was simply you buy a piece of bar stock, you know, and you grind it or you forge it into shape. These are not in that league at all. Swordsmith can forge, you know, a new sword every day and for the rest of their life and never repeat themselves. So. You know, this is something that really is certainly challenging for your entire lifetime. You know, there's always something you can do better, something you can improve, new challenges. So certainly that is one thing that keeps me passionate about it.